Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the Maldraxxus multi farm. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we are going to be going over the Maldraxxus multi farm. Now this one is definitely one that is highly competitive, so recommendation Sky Golem, Druid, Shadowlands Gathering are one of the key ones that you're going to be doing. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be flying around, picking up these nodes right here. And in an hour's worth of farming for this, I managed to get around about 27,479 golds worth of value. This is pretty dang awesome. I just need to sort that out. Thank you. And other than that, judging by what we've actually got in my quest for figuring out all of the multi farms, we currently have a nice little route that has been adapted. Now originally the original route was just run around like this, but now we've got flying, we can do cover more ground. And overall, I have seen a fair amount of competition around about this area, but not in this area or this area. This is quite surprising as the node density near there is quite high and you can get quite a lot of herbs and ores just dotted around there. So that is quite surprising to say the least. Now, aside from all of that, what did we actually get for the hour? Now, this one was actually pretty dang interesting. We, if we go into our worth it recorder and we go into edit mode, we can see that for the hour's worth of farming, we got 27,479 golds worth of value. And that value is derived from Death Blossom at 380 of those for 2,688 gold. We have Alethium Ore, eight of that for 908 gold, as well as Lace Dry Ore, 548 Lace Dry Ore for 6,534 gold. Now, the keynote items for the zone specific, which is Marrow Root for 256 of those for 10,251 gold. That's where a large majority of our gold is coming from, is from Marrow Root. With our Nightshade, actual spawns we actually got 48 of that for 1225 gold as well as oxine ore which is the mining equivalent to marrow root which is 212 of that for 5829 gold the other little off notes for that is porous stone 125 of that for 22 gold and shaded stone which is nine of that for 19 gold now overall was this farm actually pretty Good. Well, I've been doing a lot of the multi farms recently, and overall, this one's the lowest yield for gold per hour wise for my for my server specifically of Argent Dawn EU. But overall, twenty thousand thousand gold is not anything to like scoff at. That's a pretty good gold per hour in the grand scheme of things. Now, flying around this area, you will see a lot of mobs that will attack you. Do not worry. If you are a druid, just use your shadow meld. Um, but if you are, you just may have to be a bit more careful if you are, like, let's just say using a sky golem and you get attacked or dismounted or anything. There is a one way of do it, dealing with that if you're just picking herbs and you're not mining. And that is when you're on your sky golem, then, or even if you are a druid, you will want to be in your tank spec and that is so you do not get a hot get dazed or knocked off your mount this makes it a lot easier for you to just carry on and do your farming without that much of an issue sometimes you will get some forms of issues um, when it comes towards getting those getting attacked by those mobs but overall it's not the end of the world um, with high competition, I managed to get 27,000 gold per hour. That's still pretty good, even with high competition. So I can see why a lot of people farm this area because it's just an easy route in order to actually do. And overall, I think it's well worth your time in order to just check out. So that being said, I've gone ahead and I've put the worth of import for my farm of an hour's worth of farming inside of the description down below that you guys can import and see how much the value is on your server. Obviously, I'm on a high pop server, so if you're on a medium or a low pop, it may be a bit more gold per hour, but just remember that you still have got to sell those materials that you've sold. And this is the great part about this. 27,000 gold per hour and its current content means that you can get a decent chunk 
and sell that on pretty dang fast. So I'm really not overly too concerned with, with all of that right there. Other than that guys, that is pretty much the farm for today. The other things of note for that is I will be finishing off all of this by doing the Revendreth multi-farm in the next couple of videos. So stay tuned towards that and then we can see which one at the moment is doing the best. Now along with that, if you do want to support the channel and help me go full time doing all of this and doing all of this jazz right there, then please feel free to go over to the Patreon which you can get all of my TSM strings and keep up to date with all of my different logs that I'm actually doing in the realms of Worth It, Worth It Classic and all of that jazz and also the Worth It Report which details a nice little topic about gold making each and every week. Other than that guys, have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.